sure my teacher is deeply concerned about what is happening in black America today that is put two of our young men one a great basketball player Kyrie Irving and another brother who is called a rapper but he's so much more than that uh, Brother Ye and the controversy that is swirling around these two men that is causing unfortunately division among a people that can least afford to be broken more apart because of misunderstanding and unfortunately parts of ignorance that we don't see the enemy who is working 100% to bring bloodshed about among us because of the serious nature of what is happening that is causing them the enemy to use his influence on those of us who are on his payroll and those of us who have been blessed to be connected to them it could be a blessing but it also can be a cursing because once the enemy puts his talons into you is reaching for your mind but more than that he's reaching for your soul to empty us and make us weak when we could be strong and doing his bidding rather than manifesting the great love that God wants us to show toward one another. Ye is a lover. Kyrie is the same. But he wants to stand on a principle. And you see him standing. How intelligent he, are, he is. And the media keeps running at him. With, why, don't, why don't you say you apologize for this anti-Semitism. You did the same thing to me. I've tried to have meetings with you. Let's dialogue about this. You don't want to dialogue with me. You want to dialogue with somebody that you know you can put down because of the power you have over them by giving them a contract and money that you can take from them if they say or do anything that you don't like. This is the day of judgment and justice. These men don't want to be against you. These men are grateful. You brought them out of college and high school and gave them a contract. You gave them a contract. Be 
Because you saw their talent. Haven't they made money for you all? So now you sign them up. And then Adidas comes by and Nike comes by and gives them a lot of money that they don't see. You all have them on a leash. And whenever somebody like Kyrie or Ye rise up and you don't like it, you pull the chain. So we run out and dog our own brother because he did something for a principle. You will too. Life is bigger than paper with a white man's image on it. Life is bigger than a nice house and a nice car. And a lot of bling bling. Life is bigger than an Oscar. Life is bigger than a belt. Life is bigger than something that says I am the best at what I do. I'm the most valuable player or my team won. But as a people, we are losing. We cannot afford to lose any of you. You are our kith and our kin, our flesh and our blood. And so I wanted to say something to help us to come together rather than break apart. Because it's Ye and Kari today. But what they're doing to them is to make you who are in the good graces of them, so you think. You see what we just did? Ye lost two billion dollars in a few days. You might wonder, did he really have it? He lost that much that soon? You know when you signed a contract with him. I don't know what's in the contract, but you do. So evidently, Adidas and all the companies that brother Kanye is signed to or was signed to until Mr. Ari Emmanuel told everybody just drop him beloved uh, brothers and sisters look your day is soon coming I'm asking you stop beating it. Alright, I'm gonna stop it there, man. I just wanted to hear what he was saying. This is a impromptu video. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem, Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS who I learned from. Uh, Shalom to the Ofa Elect, which is word in truth and sincerity. And for your ribs, your sisters out there, learn the silence and stay in the order. Alright, so now Farrakhan is uh, again getting involved with the small hatters where, uh, as he mentioned as well, he was, he was um, uh, accused of being anti-Shem, uh, right? And, uh, you know, something he, uh, Farrakhan has a big ship on his shoulder. I'll tell you why. You know, he has a huge, huge following. Right? And a, a lot of people in his congregation uh, believe he he is like the Messiah. Like literally. Like I didn't even know this. I didn't know this information until this year. That his congregation looks at him as if uh, he was a Messiah. So, 
he has a big chip on his shoulder. And so does his congregation. So, I, I don't know, from the sound of it, he sounds like he can uh, take on Amalek. I don't know how or what, what kind of power he's he's purporting to have over uh, the system, right, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai established, that he's trying to go against, you know what I mean? Uh, in whatever fashion, uh, it's not gonna happen because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai ordained it to be that way. You know what I mean? The best we could do as a people is come back to the Lord and let him fight our battles, right? This man who claims to be uh, the nation of Islam, because there's no such thing as a nation of Islam in the scriptures. This is a made up nation, right? And uh, the leader who started uh, the nation of Islam was a so-called white man. If you look deep into it. You know, uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan said a lot of powerful things, but at the same time, just by looking at the dress code, right, and knowing that this man reads off the Bible, right, mostly, that like you notice a lot of the stuff he says does not come from the Quran. He does not quote the Quran often. I'm not saying he doesn't know the Quran. I'm just saying that for the most part, he uses scriptures, right? But even in the Quran, I believe in the Quran, but in the scriptures, it says not to round out the corners of your beard. But this man got a smooth, smooth face, right? With a bow tie, right? From what I understand, you know, uh, when I come across the information that the bow, the bow tie symbolizes uh, a man's nutsack, basically. And then that the tie is a, is a phallic symbol, right? Whether it be true or not, you're dressing like them, right? And you're shaving like them. But what I believe is to look less menacing and to be taken serious in a political standpoint. But that's not gonna save you, right? You wearing this suit and tie, Esau's still gonna gun you down. It doesn't matter. You have no say so in the system, right? Scripture you say, you know, make no other man your king unless it be from your brothers, right? Paraphrase. You gotta be of your own tribe. So what you're doing is you're trying to go against the uh, political system to try to change it, but in part you're being a part of it because you're trying to change it but to make it work for you, but you're still being part of the system, it doesn't work like that. You have to sever all ties, man, and, and, and go 100% and trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Not your political game. You know, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is making all these moves to seal the elect, to fi finalizing, to sealing the elect, and push prophecy. But it doesn't mean that these people that are speaking are of the elect, although they could be, but it doesn't emphatically mean that, just because they have influence and power and they, and people are actually, uh, you know, getting involved more just because, you know, the Lord Yahweh Hashem is using these guys' vessels. That's all. I guess this is big news because now Amalek is trying to move fast, quickly, because he knows what he got but a short time, right? They recently tried to press the, uh, the, uh, the documentary producer, I forgot the guy's name, uh, from Hebrews to Negroes, calling him an anti-Semite, he basically said the same thing of Kyrie Irving. That he cannot be anti-Semitic because he is Shemitic. From what I understand, they were trying to cut a deal with him to try to basically sell him the rights to the, uh, the film, but we already know what they're gonna do with that. They're gonna abolish it, but 
you notice how they're not coming after Amazon still. They're trying to buy his rights. They're not trying to take it down because they're making money off of it. And they're they, they, they so confident that they're not even worried because all they got to do is pull the plug. They're going to try to get the, the rights to it and then destroy it after they made all the money off of it because the producer himself, I think he made over a million dollars off of it. Who knows how much Amazon made off of it. Man, follow the dollar. If you follow the dollar, you see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? By the end of the day, I, I say follow the dollar so you can see the infrastructure and how it's set up to destroy Jake at the end of the day. But really, you really should be focusing on the scriptures getting back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's first and foremost the most important thing man once you understand your enemy you know you can you can help build uh, brothers up and, and, and teach them you know what I'm saying how to get out of how, how to get out of the system man if we go to work obviously right we gotta pay you know we gotta, we gotta provide for our, our families you know what I mean but you know, as far as voting and trying to change <clears throat> trying to change the system through politics, it ain't gonna happen. Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is our redeemer, and we're waiting on Him to come here and redeem us, not us redeem ourselves. So right now, all we gotta do is focus, come back, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability <clears throat> until all the prophecies play out, which they're playing out really quickly. If you're following. Right? And just put it in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's hands. Don't try to don't try to prep your way through it. You can't save yourself, man. Once you start relying on yourself, then you're removing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai out of the equation.